Hello everyone and welcome to the video lecture series of mobile application development. Students, in the previous session we talk about the web services as well as the types of the web services. We have seen that we can communicate between the two different technologies with the help of the common language that can be the XML or the JSON and in our syllables the JSON is there. JSON what is JSON? How we can establish the communication between the two different applications by using the JSON format? How we can convert the Java object into the JSON and the JSON to the Java? Do not worry about it. We'll talk about this all these topics in this today's lecture. Hi everyone, this is your instructor Janice Shah. So now let's begin to understand that what do we mean by the JSON and what is G -son. So students, the JSON, JSON stands for the JavaScript object notation. All we can say the common format that is used with for the communication uh, during the web services. It is the independent data exchange format and the best alternative for the XML. Right now in the current market, instead of the XML, JSON is widely used for the communication uh, instead of the accent. See, the Android provides the four different manipulate JSON data, the four different classes. These are the inbuilt classes in the Android. Number one is JSON object, number two is JSON array, number three is JSON tokenizer, and number four is JSON string. The main advantage of JSON is it is a language independent and the JSON object will contain data in the form of key and value, key and value, right? So generally students, what we use, we use to showcase, just wait a minute. Okay, so JSON nodes with the start with the bracket of square brackets or with the curly brackets. So always remember the JSON data starts with the square brackets or the curly brackets. At the, but what do we mean by this is square and the curly bracket? So students, the curly bracket shows the JSON object and the square bracket shows JSON array. So the difference between the both of them, the square bracket represents the starting of the JSON array node and the curly bracket represents the starting of the JSON object. So we can need to call the appropriate data as per the array or the object. Now next. So if the JSON data starts with the opening uh, we can say the square brackets, then we can access it like a method like get JSON array. And to access the JSON object, that means that it starts with the curly bracket. Then we can use the JSON object method to access it. To parse the JSON data in the Android, what we need? We need to create an instance of the JSON object. If we want to parse the data, okay, then we need to create the object of JSON object and the JSON array. So students, let me just take an example. If you want to start with the JSON object, then you need to start with the curly bracket. This is the object name. Name is employee. And the key is Sachin. Value is salary. Married. So name is a name is a key. Sachin is the value. Another name is a salary. Key name is salary. Value is 56,000. Key name is married and value is true. So remember here the employee is JSON object. Now, what about the JSON array? So I told you the JSON array starts with this particular square bracket, right? So here the square bracket shows the JSON array. So now employee object becomes array. Fine. So your array name is employee, where the values like ID, name, salary, ID, name, salary are stored inside it. So now this, this curly bracket shows the object and the square bracket shows the array. Same as the array, the very first index it starts with the zero, this is the second index starts with one. Now next, JSON elements. So elements in the, uh, for the JSON like array, object, key and the value. I already told you that square bracket represents the JSON array. Curly brackets represent the JSON object. 
key is always mentioned with the string and the value is always there in the form of the string. So students, now let me just show you the introduction of the JSON. JSON that means Google Sun a library that is used to convert the JSON object into the Java object and Java object into the JSON object. So let me show you how it works. See, this is a JSON, it's an open source Java library that is used to serialize and deserialize the Java object to the JSON. Students serialize, that means when we convert the Java object into the JSON and deserialize, that means we convert the JSON data into the Java object. So, it can also be used to convert the JSON string to an equivalent another Java code. It provides the simple to JSON and from JSON method. See, the name says, the method name shows that what is the use of that. Like to JSON, it's a method that is used to convert the Java object into a JSON and the from JSON it's a method that is used to convert the Java object, sorry, the JSON object to the Java. Now, it allows the pre-existing or unmodified object to convert to from the JSON. Now, is there any permission and dependency needed to use this? So obviously, you just need to add one dependency that is implement dot code.json colon json colon 2.8.6 this is the library that i have uh, added in my which folder build.properties app.build.properties folder where you just need to add this particular dependency fine now there is no extra permission you need to implement the json now let me show the code for that so what we are going to do students over here we are just going to make a class class with the name of the employee okay so employee is a class name which contains some amount of uh, we can say the fields like name first name number and age now see here i have just initialized my create the object of the employee then if you want to convert the java data into the which one json then you need the json object that's why i just created a json json is equal to new json fine and then i take a string because we get the json data in the form of the string so string json normal data is my variable which is equal to json dot to json and pass employee object inside it now i'm not going to run the app just going to debug the application okay students you can run the application but after the application, I just need to show my data in the form of the toast. I want to show it uh, very in the very good format. That's why I just click on go inside the run, debug my application and click on the F8 button again and again to check my data. So if you will get like JSON normal data in the form of the JSON. So this is the form of JSON. See, you have the curly bracket, then the key, then the data, curly bracket, then the comma, with the key and the value the key and the value so the key value key value key value form is there this is how you can convert your java object into the json for that you just need to add the dependency json and call a method which is known as json dot to json fine now let me show you the next example where we are going to convert our this particular JSON data into the Java object. So students, whenever you try to copy the whole JSON string in the Java, it will automatically take the slash, the backslash before the curly brackets, sorry, before the double inverted comma. Fine. But if it, it is not there, then you just need to put the backslash before each and every key and value okay like age c i have just added this backslash before the double noted comma here 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 everywhere see this first and the last this first and this last double noted comma shows that it is a string rest of the part is all about the json data why we need to put the backslash because it is ignore the string or we can say it is ignores the double noted comma Okay, and it will take the whole data as a JSON data. Fine. So whenever you try to convert the JSON data into Java object, first you just need to add the backslash before every double-noted comma 
except the first and the last of inverted comma that represents the string. Fine. Now we just need to call our simple method that is known as from JSON. Here you need to pass your JSON variable or JSON string, comma, pass the class name in which you want to convert my class employee dot dot class, and then here you will get the EMP1. Here the EMP1 is our new object. Now just debug the application and you will get the output like this. To debug the app, open the run, click on the debug button, you will get this particular window where you can found the variables. See here like a green up, green uh, red down and green down. On the left side of it, you will find the step over button like this arrow, step arrow. Okay, just click on over it or just click on F8, F8, F8. F8 button is used to debug one by one line or we can say the objects. Okay, so, so it's like this students, you can convert the Java objects into the, if we can say the JSON and the JSON into the Java objects. Now, let me show you the live programming code and show it to you that how it works. So students, this is all about the practical for the JSON. See, let me show you that where I have included, see, I have this build.gradle.dot file where I have implemented the dependency like com dot google dot code dot json dot json to it dot eight dot six. If you have students ever uh, try to implement this, do not forget to sync now. Click on the sync now option. Okay. Now what we have? See, we have the very first thing. We just need to create the employee class. So here students, I have created one employee class with the name of the private string, first name, number, age. Just remove, I'm just going to remove this address. Okay, right now it is not about this one particular practical. So I just take one string, first name, integer number and integer age. And then this is my simple constructor is over here. Let me just remove this. Thank you, this one only. Okay, fine. So this is what we have. We just need to create how you can, let me just uh, skip this and write the code, whole code again. Wait for a minute, students. So let me just keep it in a comment. Write down defining the three variables like uh, private string, first name, comma, private integer age and uh, private integer number and then to create the constructor you just need to right click over here click on the generate option and write down click on the constructor select all of them and click on the ok button so it will just generate the constructor right now fine why they are showing the error then i'll tell you just because that i have already created some amount of the code now let me just put all code in the comment section remove this debug worker button option now first we are going to convert our java object into the json format so let me just take the class employee live emp1 if it's a live project that i'm going to take object like live emp is equal to new employee what we need to Pass over there in the constructor name like Janice, comma age is 29, comma number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Fine. So the first employee object is created. Now, what I need to do, I just need to create the object of the JSON because JSON is a library which we are going to use. JSON, JSON is equal to new JSON. And then going to convert this JSON object, or by using this JSON object, we are going to call a method. So show the data in the JSON live data is equal to. What you need to do, we just need to call a method like JSON dot to JSON and pass live employee object over there. Now let me just click on the debug button over here. Put a debug option. Click on the run and debug the application. Launching the activity. So now let me just show the debug screen. 
So this is my debug screen, students. Okay, you just need to click on the F8 button or click on this tab over button. Okay, so this is the JSON live data. You can visualize it over here. This is the age 29, first name Janish, number this. Okay, so this is all about the JSON data. So we already get the JSON data by using the JSON library. Now let me just convert the new JSON string. So how to do that? See, let me just take this JSON string, copy it, and create a new string variable like string JSON live data two is equal to. And paste it over here. See, I just copied it and paste it over here. It will automatically create the backslash for you. So now, create the new employee object like employee emp2 is equal to new employee. Fine. No, we are going to convert the JSON data into employee. So just call a method like JSON dot from JSON. Very first one will be what will be the very first object so the very first argument students you need to just pass that will be your json live data and where you need to convert no live data i just want to convert the json live data to comma wait a minute json live data to comma the class name is students employee dot class fine so what we are going to we are just going to see the employee too let me just change the data from the 29 to 65 first name is Janice number let me just add 987 up okay fine 98 so let me just debug this application again click on the run stop app waiting for the debugger response run just wait for a minute students now just let me just run debug the application again so whenever i try to click on the debug app okay what, what happens? happens let me show you so it is just installing the application again and then the debug option is now successfully appeared with us so you can see the various options see this is the step over button okay so right now we can see only see the json object Again, click on the step over, we can get the JSON live data. So it is showing us this. No, we want again JSON live data too. So again, click on the this step over button or click on the F8. Both are the working as the same thing. See, this is the JSON live data too, where we have the first 65 Janice in the number. Now, we what we want? We want employee 2. Click on the button again. See, this is the employee 2. This is your object. See the employee 2 age contains 65 first name is Janice and number is 9820246. So this is what how we can convert our whole JSON string into the Java object. Fine. So, so, so students, this is all about the JSON introduction where we have seen today about the JSON uh, data conversion using Java. And, and the JSON, JSON library, library where we can convert the Java object into the JSON and JSON, JSON object into the Java. In the next tutorial, we are going to talk about more about the nested JSON objects and how can we do the serialization, the deserialization in the JSON, or what happens if our JSON API column name and the database column name both are different. So till that, if you have any doubt, then please feel free to ask me. Thank you so much.